There are so many hidden gems, aren't there, along the east coast of England and Essex particularly, of course. Uh, we've got the longest pleasure pier in the world in South End. We've got the Nays Tower, Walton on the Nays. We've got the, oh, I'm just picking out a few here, the beaches of Frinton. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. And the fantastic public loos there as well. I mean, best public loos in the world in Frinton. Now, a group of people are currently on a 500-mile journey. It's more of a pilgrimage, an odyssey, some might say, around the coast of the east to discover all these delightful places, little unknown places. And they are calling it Beach of Dreams which I think is a lovely title for it. It's a sort of art project as well. In fact, I'm useless at uh, telling you about this. Let's get somebody who knows all about it, because I haven't got a clue. Uh, John Offord is one of them who's walking 500 miles, and he's in Essex, I believe, at the moment. Where are you, John? Hi, Dave. Yeah, I'm standing here at the Harwich Beach near the Sailing Club, where we're installing 500 flags for the Beach of Dreams flag exhibition from 6pm tonight. Excellent. And how did this all start? I mean, take, take us right back to the very beginning of the planning and the inspiration. Yes. Yeah, so we, you know, I was invited to take part in this along with Ali Priti, the artistic director of Connecticut, an arts organisation that brings diverse communities together through walking, talking and making large scale flags. We also then invited travel journalist Kevin Rushby from The Guardian and Ali, Kevin and I are, as I say, walking the entire 500 miles. I think one mile 169 right now. It's our day off today, so we're making the most of it with this celebration on the beach tonight. But it really is, a, as you say, a pilgrimage to the future. And we're, we are inviting local people to come and join us and, and adopt a mile of the, of the walk. And of course, then you know, local people have designed some of the flags that we're carrying with us on, on the 500 mile walk. So hang on, five, 500 flags, you're carrying them? <laughs> don't they weigh a bit? I mean, aren't you weighed <laughs> down, John? Uh, no, well, no. So the, the, I'd say that the flags are created using natural dyes, that they're, they're, they're silk flags, and they're not actually that heavy. And, and what, what it is, we invite local people to carry the, a flag that they've designed of an area of the coast that's important to them. Um, so we're not carrying all 500 flags you know, in one go. We do have support, you know, backup a, a, as well. I'm... But each mile has been adapted, as I say, by a flag to represent... Right. Uh, you know what that means to that local person. Give, give me some examples, and and how first of all, how big are the flags? Let, just give us an example. So you know, I'm standing here on the beach now, and it's just a stunning sight. There are 500 flags right in front of me as I you know, walk across the beach, see the amazing ships in the in the background, and there's such beautiful designs uh, from wildlife and nature to to, to literally kind of parts of the beach that people walk on that you really mean something personal to them and mm. yeah it's just i mean you have to see it to believe it to be honest and and how big are they i mean you, um... i would say um they're not actually i'd say they're about five foot is a rough estimate um yeah but they're just um five amazing foot's a, yeah five foot's a big flag isn't it i mean that's a, that's well, a lot that, of i guess that's that's the, <laughs> it's it's a, it's not it's 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 like that's the length of it in in in, in yeah. total i'd say so they're about the size of myself um but yeah the flag's not quite that big but it's just a spectacular size it's it you really do need to get down here to to, to see it really and yeah I, we're, it's, it's quite funny actually because we're talking on radio about a visual thing so yeah. uh yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a sort of visual <laughs> arts thing on the radio yeah couldn't be better yeah, yeah. couldn't be better so what sort of <laughs> what sort of places have you been to so far so we started off from Lowestoft on the 27th of June, which was, um, goodness, seems like an age ago. And obviously we're heading to Tilbury. Uh, so we finished there. You know, I'll literally be crawling to the finish line. You know, I'm determined to make it. Oh, you'll I'll be, be on Sunday. <laughs> well, I've had, a, so I say we get to Tilbury on Sunday, the 1st of August. I've had a few adventures along the way. I ended up in A&E in Ipswich on the Monday. Um, so yeah, I, 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 I'm determined. <laughs> so I... Uh, w decided to wear shorts one day walking through the marshes <sighs> and I, uh, I basically got a bacterial infection in my legs 
and I spent the morning in, in, in A&E. I had an amazing time in the waiting room. I had a seat for two hours, water, electricity, free Wi-Fi, all the things that I've forgotten about and taken for granted. Um, and, I, and I'm happy to say I'm on antibiotics now, and, I, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm determined to continue. And I also ended up in a, a hospital yesterday as I arrived into Harwich. But that was just to get a, a second COVID vaccination. So it's, it looks like I'm doing a bit of a tour of the, the hospitals in this region. You are. You're really selling this to us really, really well. <laughs> I had to, there's a bit of a theme going on here with you, isn't there? Let's yeah. be honest. <laughs> Let's yeah. be honest. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And I guess let me just go back to the beach here because I've just yeah. been told that if you were if you were to take an aerial shot from the beach here, it would spell out dreams from the sky. And the flags are placed in such a way to rep- represent some of the rivers we've walked past uh, along the way. But earlier you asked me to, you know, what was some of the kind of the highlights where we've been in the past? Yes. I mean, I mean, so many fascinating kind of areas that I. This is all a new area to me. I'm from Sheffield in, obviously Yorkshire, um, and for oh, me this mind. is a. <laughs> but for me, you know, I've. I mean, so many things. I think one of them was uh, a giant oak tree in the woods near in Dedham, which apparently was a hideout for witches that was on the walk between Dedham and Ravness. Then we found a church in Dedham also with uh, heavily graffitied stone columns in the church. And IS carved his initials there in 1600. WM did the same in 1632. BB had a go in 1675. And SC in 1899. Right. So load of, it's an area of vandals, basically, is what you're saying to me. <laughs> so just some incredible sights along the way and some yeah. amazing flora and fauna. And obviously, you know, some some amazing local people that have joined us along the way for some really interesting conversations. It, it's a lovely, you know, engaging with local people, um, looking at local things, because... People around the country, I don't know what you your view of Essex was, um, you know, coming from where, where you come from, but uh, you say Essex yeah. to a lot of people, and you, the national newspapers and national TV, they're always having a pop at Essex, you know, Essex person murders yeah. so-and-so. But yeah. you then come to the county and you think, wow, wow. Yeah, it's I beautiful. Mean, just, it yeah. is fabulous. And we've got the longest coastline in the country, although we compete yeah. with Devon, I believe, but uh, the longest co- coastline in the country. And it's just gorgeous, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's such an eye-opener for me. And yeah, it's stunning coastline. And yeah, I'm just kind of overwhelmed by it. It's funny what you said there about Essex getting a, you know, sometimes a, a tough time. One of our walkers yesterday, Nelika, she told us about some research done at Essex University by Dr. Amanda Cole. She found that the Essex accent was deemed less intelligent and less trustworthy than the other Southeast accents. Yeah. So what really shocked Nelika is that people from Essex had the, the same prejudice against their own accent. Uh, you know, not me, of course. So, yeah, so I understand that perfectly coming from, from Yorkshire. But, yeah, interesting there. So this is a sort of, how would you describe it? Sort of art? It's, it's art, it's community, it's um, yeah, it, exercise, it's, it, it's, it's everything it, it, together, isn't it? Yeah, it's walking, it's art, it's collaboration, it's a conversation about the future as we come out of a pandemic, it's celebrating our coastlines and recognising what we have and, and what, what our future looks like as, you know, we need to celebrate our coastlines and obviously there are issues like coastal erosion that we need to yeah. be aware of. So we thought this was a, yeah, a perfect time to, to bring this to, to, the, to the forefront. And there's a good website as well, isn't there? There is. Thank you for mentioning that. <laughs> so beachofdreams.co.uk um, and you can find out the details of every walk that we do every day. Uh, we actually are open for bookings for Walk 15, which is this Monday from Jaywick. And how, finally, how are your feet now? So, yeah, I'm not going to lie that I've had a few blisters and, you know, they, they, they do they do ache. But, it, but today's a rest day. So I've really taken it easy today. So walked up and down the beach a few times. But um, I, I'm kind of um, then I, 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 I'm not too bad. I, the, the, the pain seems to be uh, disappearing. So that's that's definitely a good thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a definitely a good thing. Pain, bad. 
No pain. Good. John Offer there. Beach of Dreams. Have a look at it on online because it is a lovely, lovely piece of work. It really is. <laughs> 